Thank you for checking out the video. First thing, go to x360ce.com. The link will be in the description. Download the appropriate 64-bit or 32-bit version for your system and game. After completing the download, extract the files and copy the executable to the program folder of your game. In this demonstration, I am using Need for Speed Rivals. Once I have found the game's folder, I am copy pasting the X360 executable. With the game closed, launch the executable. Allow the software to create any missing DLL files. I chose to let the software auto configure my hardware, the Logitech G920 will. You can now map the buttons any way you would like. If you do not know a button by name, you can go to the Logitech tab and press the button on the controller. It will tell you what button number you are pressing when you press it. Press the save button and close the application. Before launching the game, you may need to change the X input.dll file name. For my game, I had to rename the file x input 9 underscore 1 underscore 0 dot dll to run the 64 bit need for speed rivals. If your dll name does not work and you get an error when launching the game, try to rename the file one of these file names. After recording this video, I went back and played with the settings some more, and at the end of the video, I will show you a screenshot of my updated settings. Stand by units are going mobile. Keep me advised of location. Over.